President Obama retaliating against Russia, the administration expelling 35 Russian diplomats and imposing additional sanctions on the country for its alleged hacking during the election. Incoming counselor to the president-elect Kellyanne Conway says Trump's relationship with Russia will be different. Watch. In the last couple of days, you see this flurry of activity by a, a tough President Obama as he exits the office. And I guess is burnishing those last couple of moments, you know, semicolons worth of his legacy. But at the same time, the new president will have an opportunity to re examine our relationships geopolitically across the globe and make a decision that is always America first. Joining me now is DNC Communications Director Adam Hodge. Adam, good to see you this morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning. How are you? Uh, very good. Last uh, trading day of the year. Happy New Year almost to you, Adam. Uh, Same to you. R Russia now announcing it's going to expel 35 U.S. diplomats in response. Uh, President Obama says all Americans should be alarmed by Russia's sanctions. But why do you believe he's taking this action against Russia now with just a few days left in office? I mean, I think that the, the action uh, uh, was definitely needed and it was appropriate. And I think um, we were under attack by the Russian foreign government. These were not 400 pound men in. But go back to my point, These though. This didn't just happen overnight, men. though. And that's the no, question everyone's it's been asking. coming for a while. That's right. So why now? Why, why didn't they do this sooner? I mean, I think that it, it takes time to sort through all of the intelligence and come up with a, a range of options. But I think the, the response was appropriate. And I think also uh, it was important to get this uh, done before the end of the year. Let's not forget the, the Russian hacking of, of the DNC started way back in September of 2015. Uh, and it was months and months over the course of the campaign where they were then feeding documents to WikiLeaks to then uh, undermine our election, and it's, it was an, a clear attack on our democracy. Again, that, that is a nonpartisan issue. That's not something that, that should, um, it's just something that Democrats and Republicans should be able to come okay. together and agree. We need to get all the answers. Well, it, well, some are just saying that with a couple weeks left in office, maybe it would have been be you know, best to leave this to the new incoming administration. Uh, President Donald Trump, elect Donald Trump, though, has released a statement uh, in response to this. He said, quote, it's time for our country to move on to bigger and better things. Nevertheless, he says, in the interest of our country and its great people, I will meet with leaders of the intelligence community next week in order to be updated on the facts of this situation. So, Adam, Trump does not acknowledge Russia's alleged involvement in the DNC hacking. Do you believe Trump will get rid of the sanctions against Russia that he will inherit now from Obama? I think that's something that should actually concern uh, all Americans. I mean, but let's not forget during the, uh, the during the, the campaign, Donald Trump was briefed on the on the Russia's attack on our democracy um, from our intelligence uh, uh, officials, and still refused to accept their conclusion. And then after he was uh, was um, the president-elect attacked our intelligence agency. For, who, for coming out with those same uh, conclusions, so I think. Well, uh, the, I think attack the, the is a strong word. He certainly, well. he certainly questioned uh, what he was hearing coming out of there. There's been a lot of misreported information on all this. It's 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 constantly reported that Russia hacked our electoral system. Uh, what we know from our intelligence agencies is that Russia, uh, and this is an agreement by all of our intelligence, is that they hacked um, the campaign manager of Hillary Clinton, John Podesta, and the DNC. It's, there's no evidence out there that they actually uh, hacked into our election process. No, but that, that in itself is an attack on our, our democracy. Uh, that is an attack. I mean, it, it, it affected our ability to talk to the voters every day of the campaign for the last five months. And, let's not, and you know, we, we have a, 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 a two-party system um, a, that is part of choosing uh, the elected leaders of our country. Okay. And, let, and, and let, let's, let's not forget, they also leaked uh, and released the, the home addresses and phone numbers of every Democratic member of Congress. Now, that's an attack on our country and our elected officials. Okay, so and there uh, it's a response. Let's talk about this. Incoming press secretary uh, Sean Spicer is saying Obama's latest actions may be rooted in jealousy. Listen to this. There's 22 days for President Obama to continue the term that he was duly elected to serve, but I think that there's probably a bit of uh, 
well, potentially some jealousy at the amount of accomplishments that have already been occurring, both in terms of domestic policy, the job creation. This is a president who is going to accomplish more before becoming president than some presidents may have accomplished in their first couple of months in office. What do you make of that? Is there any jealousy right now between President Obama and the incoming uh, president, President-elect Donald Trump, based on what President-elect Trump is already getting done before even entering the White House? Look, Sean's always made me laugh. That just uh, probably takes the cake. I think, you know, there's no, what the president was, was uh, his response yesterday and with the announcement from our intelligence agencies is a response to an attack on our democracy. Now, the, many of the things that, um, that Mr. Trump has tried to, to claim credit for over the last uh, few months um, are actually things that were well in place uh, well before he was even, uh, even uh, won the, uh, uh, the, the past race. So, look, I think um, what you're and you're seeing, he's mm -hmm. taking office as the least popular uh, president-elect in our nation's history. Uh, and I, I think they're going to have a hard problem uh, when once they're sworn in. I'm trying not to sure gather where you're. I'm American not sure people. where you're getting those numbers um, it was at a all. Ball, I believe. Okay. Don't know where those numbers came from, but we'll, we'll, we'll look into it. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Always a pleasure. Happy New Year, Adam Hodge. Happy New Year to you, sir.